I'm gonna try this again. But last time I tried it, I uploaded a video and it like only did half the video. And my viewers are like, dude, where's the video? And so, uh, this isn't live stream. This isn't live stream. This also is not like a recording. So it's kind of like in the middle. So if anything happens, it's because it's YouTube, not me. But anyway. Some of the topics I want to talk about is... Um, it's, like, it's like the human condition. You know what I mean? Like how the world feels as a whole or in general even though that's very very hard to articulate and even crunch numbers on or even know like who knows what the number is on what people are depressed but I could tell you something um, that correlates to the human condition and import export uh, business and that is Americans are willing to accept that they are too lazy to manufacture their own products in America they're just too lazy to do it they sleep too much they laze around too much even the, the toughest workers we don't compete with China. <laughs> we do not compete with China. If, we, if there was a way that we could exist whilst China is existing in their world, right, and just exist, then we wouldn't have to worry about China. But the fact that all these countries want to integrate with us and use us for our resources is uh, why America has to compete with them. Imagine if we could just wake up one day and not have to compete with China. It would just be like, you know, we'd be living hunky-dory and not have to worry about war or any of that stuff. Which is a, sur a reality we should be searching for. We should be lo uh, trying to see the systemic reasons as to why we are competing with China. The thing is, because we allow their folks here, we allow their citizens in our country to work here. That's why we're competing with them. It's probably made up by China. Somebody from somewhere else is making up this, this fake sport, and that is world domination somebody somewhere is trying to gather up all these nations and turn it into one big conglomeration I wish I knew who it was I have a few good guesses but I can't put my finger on it uh, per se and you know the thing about the these evildoers in the country in the world you're not supposed to see these guys. You think they're me? You think they're they're on the front lines preaching this shit? You think they're prophets that talk about problems in the world? You think they're Tupac? You think they're, you know, uh, Eminem or Biggie Smalls or people that's actually talking about problems? No. <laughs> they're nobody that you see. Anybody that you see preaching, you can guarantee they're an innocent man. Innocent. 100% innocent. And you know why they try to pop them? You know why they try to get them on bullshit charges? Like, uh, you know, they try to... They'll say like a... Let's just say like this guy's a prophet. And they say he stole some gold. Well, they're doing that to get him out of the way. He knows stuff. He's willing to sacrifice his life, his family, his job, everything... So he can speak the truth because he's tired of seeing his brothers and his sister die and get raped because society is lying to them. Everything kind of goes full circle. 
I mean, think about how a plant grows in the ground. There's not a million different ways a plant grows. It's pretty simple. Life is just as simple. All the stuff you see on TV is true. All the, all the video games you play, they're true. Yeah, as simple as that. They don't, these people don't get these inspirations from nowhere, from reading a book, and then all of a sudden, wow. You know how much TV we watch that inspires us every day? It's all true. And the stuff you see on TV is 20 times worse in real life. That's why we have to become advocates. We have to become, uh, you know, we have to be change artists. Not scam artists. Change artists. We got to want to change our place. The place where we do business. The import-export business is so much like China. It is disgusting. It's disgusting, man. <laughs> Don't tell me, oh, what's this? it's supposed to be like that. Don't tell me, oh, it's like that by design. Motherfucker, no, it ain't. It's like that because we're trying to keep up. It's like that because we have people, evil doers in this planet that are trying to be inhumane. They flat out want to control you and turn you into a slave. If you think otherwise, you're crazy.